everybody knows that uh, it's the time of year for proms and tuxedos and fancy dresses. Corsages. And while proms, <laughs> yeah, corsages. While that's not important in the great scheme of things going on in the city, it's really important to those kids. And area high school students are really feeling the effects of Baltimore's curfew and state of emergency. Yes, yeah, Tim Tutin reports this rite of passage for many junior and senior proms that had been set for downtown this weekend are canceled. Here's just one example. Patapsco High School in Baltimore County had made plans to hold the junior prom at the Museum of Industry. So as you can expect, lots of disappointment on the Baltimore County campus this week. Instead of a night of fun at the Inner Harbor, the prom would take place on familiar ground at the school. Um, we wanted to make sure that we were protecting uh, the investments that parents had made when they rented tuxes and rented limousines. Um, it, People put a lot of time and energy into this, and we felt the best way that we could protect that time and energy and that money uh, was to move the prom uh, to the to the gym here. There were a few complaints coming from Patapsco parents and students. I'm just glad we're having it at all because I know some people like if they get it rescheduled, they can't have it at all, and I would feel really terrible if I couldn't have my junior prom. I think it's a good decision to keep this kid safe, and they can have their prom still, and that's that's the important part. They have the memory. The Museum of Industry has become a hot spot for proms. And other school activities. In Patapsco's case, they'll get a full refund, but there's concern about the weeks ahead. Unfortunately, a lot of the high schools are from counties where they're being mandated that they're not allowed to come into the city for activities such as school field trips or proms. We're working very closely with them to um, reschedule a lot of them in cases. Um, or work with them to make sure that their kids still have a great prom. As the students are, uh, enter the gym space, this is where the dance hall will be. And uh, if it's up right to Patapsco's principal the and school staff, it'll be a night to remember. They're going to make the cafeteria look like an amazing area. They're super excited about it. A lot of lights, a lot of uh, drapes, a lot of action, a lot of fun. More than two dozen Baltimore County high schools expect to have their proms in the coming weeks. Everyone has been very cooperative with our principals as far as venues down in the city and they've wanted to work with them and they've made other arrangements. So our schools are working to have that plan B should they need to have it. If schools come up short, Baltimore County says it will pitch in financially. At Patapsco High School in Baltimore County, Tim Tutin, WBAL, TV 11 News. All right, Tim. And of course you